Hello. In the following tutorial, I am going to show you the IB Expert Extract Metadata feature, which you can find in the IB Expert Tools menu. I'll begin by connecting to a database. Then I'll open the Tools menu where you can find the menu item Extract Metadata. This IB Expert feature is not only able to extract metadata, as its name suggests, but also the data contained in a database. On the first page, you can select the database objects to be extracted. Domains, tables, views, procedures, triggers, generators, exceptions, UDFs and roles. If you wish to reconstruct your complete database using a script, simply click the Extract All checkbox. This way, you will have all database objects that exist in your current database generated by the resulting script into your new database. On the second page, you can specify whether some or all of the data should also be extracted. If you wish to extract all data, simply click the double arrow button in the center. If, however, you wish to extract a database copy with only certain demo or master data in it, you can define a WHERE condition for each table individually whether it be a condition on the ID or date or whatever. The choice is yours. This is a practical and reliable solution when you wish, for example, to create a basically empty database with a certain range of master data in it from your development database. There are further options which can be specified here. You can add a connect or create database statement automatically into the script. The password can be included if wished. If not specified, it is of course necessary to enter it each time. Here, the maximum size of the extract files can be specified, which can be a good idea if you are extracting huge databases. For example, a file size of 100 megabyte is ideal, particularly if you need to edit the script by hand. And if you are working on a 32-bit operating system, you will encounter problems opening text files larger than 4 gigabytes. Even if you have a good tool for this, you will certainly suffer performance problems. Here is a range of further options. Whether you wish to set generators, whether the object descriptions should also be extracted. In Interbase, the Describe command is used instead of Update. In newer Firebird versions, since Firebird 2, the Comment keyword. Select the correct syntax for the database version you wish to create, not the database version you are currently extracting from. Computed by fields that need to be generated separately. This can be useful if you need to dismantle dependencies. You can specify this here and then, in a second stage, edit the separately extracted computed fields as necessary. A very practical option is the possibility to extract the character set, particularly if you later need to alter the character set. For example, if you wish to convert an ISO 88591 database to a UTF-8 database, this is a smart method to do this. This topic will, however, be dealt with in detail in a separate tutorial. You will see that IB Expert has its own system tables, which all begin with IBE$. These are used by IB Expert for logging and internal objects, etc. Usually, you will not want to extract these, so if you don't need these tables, you should activate this option. Should you wish to keep the IB Expert functionalities, such as logging in the new database, then leave this deactivated. Exclude TMP$ objects from Interbase 7. These temp$ tables were introduced in Interbase 7 and can be excluded from the extract by activating here. By the way, the IB Expert Extract Metadata feature is an ideal method to convert any Interbase database to Firebird or the other way around should you need to. 
decode domains. If this is activated, the domain types will be inserted as comments just after the domain names. The Use Creator Alter for Procedures, Triggers and Views option can be useful if you wish to overwrite procedures and it's compliant to Fiber 2 upwards. Using Extract Metadata, you can also extract only parts of procedures. And if you activate the Create or Alter command here, it will be inserted before each procedure in the Extract script. Set's term is still necessary in Interbase and older Firebird versions. You can alter this here if necessary. The sequence keyword is basically identical to the generator keyword. They both store unique sequential numbers in the database. The sequence keyword was introduced in Firebird 2.0 for compatibility reasons with other platforms. Always quote identifiers. This option sets quotation marks around each object. I would only recommend this if you wish to use the resulting script to create a database for a totally different platform. The data options can be specified here for the extract, which can be useful if you need to alter your date and time format for other countries. And there is an option to activate an ANSI prefix for date and time values. You can remove trailing spaces and control characters from strings, although I recommend you treat this option with care. A unique option offered by IB Expert is the ability to extract blobs. We have a special syntax solution which extracts blobs in their own files. We'll take a look at these when we analyze the extracted files. Reinsert is an IB Expert mechanism. When you wish to execute your extract script with IB Expert, you should activate this so that reinsert is used instead of repeated inserts. Again, you will see the advantage of this when we take a look at the extract scripts later on in this tutorial. And here, you can specify how often the scripts should commit your work, particularly useful if you encounter problems with your extract script. The privileges can all be extracted or just for the selected objects if you are only extracting parts of your database. Okay, now I need to specify a path and file name for the default extract form here. You can see there are a number of options, the default option being extract to file. In this case, the file could attain the maximum size before additional files were automatically created. I would recommend the option separate files. Here, you only need to enter a drive and path, which doesn't even have to exist, as IB Expert will create it for you. I'll enter C IBE EXP and I'll specify a maximum file size of one megabyte. I know that is unusually small, but the sample employee database is so small we won't even manage to reach this limit. Apart from the separate files option, there is also, for example, VCS files, which creates a file for each database object, useful if you wish to integrate source code management in VCS systems. And if you only wish to extract a small amount of metadata or data, then the clipboard is an ideal option. Or in the script executive, IB Experts Script Interpreter, which starts automatically. Okay, so now I'll run the extract and IB Expert switches to the output page. It asks if it should create the folder I specified. Now, IB Expert is creating a copy of all the database objects and data as specified. And that was it. With a database of this small size, you can see that it is extremely quick. So, that was the first part of our tutorial, Extract Metadata. It now continues with Extract Metadata Part 2.